them amongst the action in the Lincolnshire Wilds. I'm sure you just enjoyed the wind, introducing you to uh, yet another of my uh, cycling journeys. I'm just uh, heading out into the wind in the direction of Beals at the moment, just outside Waltham. Probably been on my bike now, what, 15, 20 minutes, something like that. And I'm already going uphill, 7% now, right now. Climbs to about 10% just here, I think. Yeah, so well amongst it. So, try something a little bit different today. Yes, I'll be behind the camera, but uh, let me uh, my faithful chesty mounty. So you can enjoy a little bit of the hill action a little bit more with me. Ideally, I like to have the chest mount, uh, GoPro on the chest mount, as well as on the handlebars, but I've only got the one GoPro at the moment. So today's ride is just over 100 kilometers. Again, I'm going for quality over quantity. Right, my GPS told me there's 1200 meters of climbing or thereabouts. Um, I'm uh, expecting Strava and ride with GPS to argue about it at the end of the ride. So I don't know if you saw yesterday's video, it was Grand Fondo. Similar elevation to today, but I wanted to try and go all better to get as much elevation in a short distance as I can. That's what today's about. Lots of hills in today's ride. But unlike yesterday, I'm not going for any be, uh, beefy efforts. Just uh, trundle up them however I can. No PRs, anything like that. Just like I said earlier, just a day out on the bike. Uh, I'm going to need to save myself for a Grand Fondo later this week, which will probably be tomorrow, I think. I need to put another route together. It's nice to have the wind behind me, even if I am going up a 12% climb. <laughs> so I'm doing some speed, a bit of a loop back towards Cupswold again, and then right at that junction this time towards Rothwell. As you can probably guess by uh, grass running through the centre of the road, I and many others <laughs> do not come this way. As you can see, this is rather bumpy, shall we say. <laughs> Don't know why, but for the second day now, I felt the need to calibrate my power meter. Don't know what's wrong with it. I mean, the first time, I thought it was because I uh, transported the bike in the car, perhaps knocked something out. Well, I had to do it again today as well. I just stopped on Hudson Avenue once more, calibrated it. And uh, I don't know how these calibration things work. All you do is press a button, it tells you it's done it. it. Comes up with a number. So yesterday's number was 10.30, whatever that means, so we would talk. And today was 11.05, so... You need to stop doing that. Otherwise, you're going to end up with uh, inconsistent power meter readings. Okay, right at the barn, at Cookswall this time. Up that hill, just outside Caster now. And it's supposed to call Man's Gate. Normally you can get some great speed down here. But again, two days in a row, it's really strong headwind. Check out the view. Woo! This time I am heading towards um I'm not sure what the segment's called either on this one. And I call it Netterton Hill Climb. 
because that's what it is. It could equally be called Netterton Wall. Elevation is going to ramp up severely in a minute. I think it goes above 20 percent. And uh, after this, I'm going to be heading towards. Let me get the name right, Claxby. Going down the hill, turning around, and go straight back up again. These hills together, these two hills, probably the hardest climbs in the uh, county, I think. What this uh, doesn't have in length makes up in uh, elevation. Just come up to the Ramblers car park. You've done the easy bit. You've done the easy bit at 13%. <laughs> As I said earlier, I'm just trying to get up these climbs today. Not going for any KOMs. Well, certainly not any KOMs. PRs even. Massive efforts. Just trying to keep it steady and on this particular climb <laughs> just trying to reach the top the first time i went up here must be in 2016 probably 2017 actually uh, in may during the uh, lincoln grand prix which is a sportive it's a popular one sponsored by rafa it's a good sportive for anyone's calendar really um, it's got a cobbled finish in the centre of Lincoln and I don't know how I managed to get a full blow conversation in here um, just go steady and uh, yes yeah, so it's got a cobbled finish but it also um, <laughs> it's cobbled finish is like 16% in the centre of Lincoln and lined along the route loads of shoppers friends and family making loads of noise on the banners on the way up it's really got a festival atmosphere so if you fancy doing a sport eve in Lincolnshire anytime in the future it's in May usually check out the Lincoln Sport Eve the Lincoln GP Sport Eve even Although I haven't said that, this particular climb has since been removed. So, if you're thinking, no thank you, the Cobble Street Sand bomb, but the net of the hill climb doesn't, don't worry, they took it out. Woo! I'm going to try and point the camera in the direction on my right shoulder. Hopefully you enjoy that view. It's a really, really, really good view. It's crystal clear today. See all the way over to uh, Nottinghamshire from here. Like any good climb, any good climb, you get presented with a good, good view. Hill, great climb, great view. Strong legs required. <laughs> right, time for U turn. <laughs> The more you do it, the easier it gets. Eventually. <laughs> oh. Well, that's the hills for a little while. I don't know what's next. I'm trying to think. In the meantime, I'm off to uh, cycle past this golf ball. 
heading along a uh, high street. Normally this is reasonably busy. Sort of all it today. Anyway, I'm turning right at the signpost for the uh, Blacksmith Arms. Which will take me into Rothwell again. And yes, I remember now. I'm turning right. Continuing along the uh, LRCC super hilly TT section which is reasonably quiet for TT and it's reasonably challenging what a lovely climb this is it's during autumn I'm just heading towards Fallsway up that climb from Rothwell just told you about lovely woods on the left <laughs> I'm not going to say it, I'm not going to say it. I also need to remember, on this uh, cube, I'm only on 25 C tyres, not on the 32s of Asunder. And I'll tell you what I do know it's different on this bike, it's so much easier to drag myself up the hills than it is on the Asunder. So much lighter. So this is the uh, Cube Agri Pro six, C62. I've forgotten how good it is on the hills. I don't think I'm repeating myself from the last video, but as I moved back here to the East Coast, I've forgotten, forgotten um, how strong the uh, wind can be the east coast because it's uh, yet again here in the walls it's proven to be as much well, I was going to say as much of a nuisance as the hills but the hills aren't a nuisance it's just making them it's just making this hills when I'm going into the wind as well hard work anyway I'm not complaining sun's out it's actually quite mild. And now back here the road was at Nestleton. I was surprised by the uh, warmth of the wind actually. It's just strange because it's only about 8 degrees but it wasn't cold at all. I don't know what it is as you uh, grind your way up here out of a saddle. There's nothing more motivational one than watching your own shadow make its way up as well and now I'm talking rubbish shadow well I think there's something in that so I'm just climbing through Kirkmund the mayor into the direction of uh, Bimbrook so I'm just looking down at my shadow again go on Richard you can do it all the way to the top in the all out of the saddle all the way to the top you can do it Next time you're out on your bike going uphill, you watch your shadow. Give him a round of applause. Go on, you can do it, shadow. <laughs> That's it. See if I can get to that red side over there. There, dub it. Whew. Well done, me and my shadow. Just left Hatcliffe going through that uh, area of woodland between the uh, cattle grids on the way to West Ravendale I think prime location for wild camping on the right there <laughs> see I couldn't get through a single episode without saying wild camping it's a lovely tailwind It's a lovely place to ride your bike. I don't know where anywhere else in Lincolnshire, off the top of my head, where you can go over a cattle grid. Hmm, that good old thing. That must be. Got fond memories of West and East Rodale. Off the picture to the right, some lovely slopes, and uh, my 
when my dad used to bring me down here when uh, we used to have snowy winters bring the sledge along and sledge if that's the word if that's the right word off the hills up to the right here it's gonna be loads of fun I'm about to go up what is most likely the final climb of the day and that is between Wall Newton and Horby which leads down to the A18 I think it is if anybody follows me on Insta or a little short video up just yesterday me stopping at the top because the top of that climb is the highest point in North East Lincolnshire I could not tell you what uh, height that is but uh, yesterday the view was well it wasn't a view <laughs> today should be a hell of a lot better so thanks for joining me for another video here on my channel I hope you enjoyed this one I'm gonna leave it here if you did enjoy it don't forget to hit that subscribe button and if you would like to support my channel as well don't forget you can uh, find me on patreon the link is below the video or even easier hit the join button as well which you'll find somewhere just below this video all right from me and the sunny lincolnshire wolds see you later bye bye there's the corner the top of the hill i talked about that great view if you want to see it for yourself you're gonna to have to come visit Look at that. Wow, I've never seen it so clear. <laughs>